Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make one of these, a World War II British Army sewing kit, also known as a housewife. It's a pretty simple design that features only a lightweight piece of fabric and a small khaki piece of fabric that's unfortunately missing on mine to hold the needles. This was issued to my granddad in the 1950s, but it's the same design as was used from the 1930s. If you're going to be making it as close to detail for World War II reenactment, for example, you'll need white fabric, pretty light, similar to tropical clothing that British Army used, as well as white thread to sew together. However, if you're not so worried about precise detail, you can make them out of different fabric. For example, here's one I made out of DPM cloth and a black piece of fabric for the needle holder. When opened, the sewing kit has a length of about 16 centimetres, but you'll need to add another 9 centimetres to account for this flap here, which takes you to 25 centimetres, and also add another couple of centimetres for these uh, overlaps of the fabric when you're sewing it. So about 27 centimetres length, and also about 11 centimetres uh, width, but take that up to maybe 13 for the overlaps on the sides. I'm going to be using a 95 pattern shirt to make mine. As you can see, the pattern is only a sing single side print. So if you want to make yours double sided with the pattern on the inside and the outside, you'll need to double the length to about 55 centimeters. If you're using a more realistic white fabric, then of course don't double the length. Also, if you want this pattern to not be as uh, as colourful on the inside, then you also don't have to double it over. Measure up 13 centimetres width, and then for the length, remember 27 if you're not going to be doubling up, or about 55 if you are going to be doubling up. I'm not going to double this one up, so we just want 27 and then across another 13 and then join the dots once your lines are drawn time to cut it out once we have our 27 centimeter piece of fabric we'll need to start stitching it together if you chose to double over the length then you'll need to either stitch or pin it down so that it gets to 27 centimeters and you can move on from there. What we'll first need to do is bend over these sides and pin them up. As you can see by doubling the fabric over we have no loose uh, ends showing on either the outside or the inside of this overlap which is important because as you can see on the original one both the inside and outside are visible. So once done use a thread and just sew along in order to stitch it down. Uh, if you're going for original, you can use white. If you're not so so worried about it being close to original, use any colour you want. Uh, once again, because I'm holding the camera, I'll have to do the sewing off camera. As you can see, I've done the uh, top uh, the, the lengths now, and they're quite loose. I just did them quickly uh, to save time. More accurate uh, one would be a lot tighter, almost with there are no gaps between the stitches on the front and back. Once you've done the two lengths, you're going to want to do the exact same with the top and bottom, so just fold them over twice and sew them up. With all sides sewed down now, we're going to want to separate this into thirds. About there. And we're now going to want to sew down here and here to join this bottom flap. This is where the sewing contents will be found. Alright, now that this is sewed together, we've got the main structure of it done. And all that's left now is to put in the little fabric part for the needles. If you're going to be doing it more accurately, such as for reenactment, use this sort of woven brown thread, uh, fabric rather. 
Uh, you check the link to the Imperial War Museum article that I've put in the description to see how the original should look. For me, I'm going to be using a piece of black fabric. Cut the fabric down to size. We're looking for about 8 centimeters in length by about 3 centimeters width. Now for the last time, get sewing. When you're sewing this bit, don't sew through to the back because that's not how it is on the original. Sew through to this flapping, flappy bit from where you sewed up the top. And this is the finished replica World War II pattern sewing kit. You've got space for pins, needles, and inside there's space for buttons, thread, and whatever else you might need in a sewing kit. Thank you for watching this video. Goodbye.